Six months ago, Christine Hanlon got the news no mother wants to hear. Her nine-year-old son Dylan had Ewing sarcoma, a rare childhood cancer in his soft tissue. Doctors said Dylan would need nine months of intensive chemotherapy. It was all overwhelming. When you have a child that goes through chemotherapy, um, there's really not much you can do for them. But Christine vowed to do all she could. After a few months of treatment, some good news. Dylan's cancer was disappearing, but with the good news, some bad. The chemotherapy that killed the cancer often kills a patient's testicular stem cells, which eventually produce sperm. And Dylan was at high risk of being infertile. These boys have stem cell in their testis that after they go through puberty will regenerate or generate spermatogenesis, but these stem cells are destroyed by the cancer treatments. Through her own research, Christine found Dr. Kyle Orwig at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. Orwig and a team are researching a procedure that removes the sperm producing stem cells prior to a young cancer patient's treatment. Those stem cells are then frozen and reimplanted years later. We are cryopreserving those stem cells so that at a later date we can transplant them back into a testis and we anticipate that they will produce sperm. Orwig's team performed the procedure in mice with a high success rate. Now they're hoping to repeat that success in boys. During an outpatient procedure, doctors remove a small amount of testicular tissue. Some is separated out to ensure the stem cells are there. The rest is cryopreserved or frozen for the patient's use later in life. In Dylan's case, despite nearly three months of chemo treatments, Dr. Orwig's team did find the stem cells. There's no guarantee that this procedure will work, but I kind of feel a little at ease, sort of say, with, with what's going on with myself, like that I'm doing all I can do, you know that I'm doing all that's offered out there for him. Christine feels at ease for another reason, too. Dylan's cancer treatment appears to be working. But Orwig cautioned it will take years and a lot more research before they'll know whether they've saved his fertility. Kelly Daschle, The Associated Press.